So Karen starts my walk to Three Isle Lake Campground. Probably four to five hours it's gonna take me to get there. Maybe less. The weather is perfect. Looks like this trip's already off to a great start. So I am at the about five kilometers. Um, probably another just over five to go. I'm actually making a really good time. It's only been an hour. Um, straight flat path. Super easy. I'm actually going this way. That way. Um, lots of people on their way out. Uh, weather is gorgeous. Bugs are atrocious. And I'm sweating down my back. I, it was a little chilly when I started, but it's I'm in the shelter of the trees now. So continue on. And I'll take a rest at Forks and grab a snack and then head up to Three Isle Lake, which is about another three kilometers. So I'm actually just at, just below the head wall and uh, to Three Isle Lake. And I'm just sitting here outside a waterfall. It may be louder than my voice. And just had a quick rest, get my legs together. I don't have much more to go, probably a kilometer. Um, so I'm gonna, climb the headwall and then uh, find the campground. Not too far after the headwall is the campground. So um, it's just on the other side of the lake. So once I'm up there, it's pretty level and pretty easy. Uh, this is probably the worst part of the first half of the hike. Uh, and then, yeah, tomorrow I'll have to do it all over again. Go down and then back up again. I made it up to the campground here. It's a little bit windy, um, and I figured it would be. Uh, it was a bit windy down at the Kananaskis Lakes. Uh, there's quite a few people up here, so not too overly worried. Um, super hot on the climb up, um, and then when the sun would go away, I'd freeze. So it was very variable. Um, so I'm just going to sit down, eat my nosh because I'm starving, and and maybe go wander and kind of see an idea if I want to do any pictures later. Uh, I'm not as big of a sunset fan as I am a sunrise, so we'll have to see. But tomorrow, not sure when I'll get out of here. Uh, got a pretty long hike ahead of me, uh, about 15 kilometers. So. so I'm just getting it ready to leave three aisle campground uh good sleep last night actually i slept i'd say majority of the night which is hard to do sometimes when you're in a strange place um but the sun is all up it's looking really nice out right now um i'll get some more video of the actual hike um i have a tendency to not do that but i'm leaving super early today it's just about eight and uh i'm gonna get on the path i have about I think it's 18 kilometers to do today so and my all trails shit the bed so unless I can get some cell phone reception I can't update it um, but I still have the GPS map so not to be worried about that so on my way I feel a little short of breath this morning um, I'm not at that high of an elevation it's only about 7,500 feet but uh, it's been about half an hour since I ate breakfast so hopefully those carbs will start kicking in right away all right, let's give her. So I'm just leaving Three Isle Lake. I've been hiking for about a half an hour. Just admiring the end of the lake views. Beautiful. Looks like it's going to be a good day too. A little windy, but hey. So I made up the first three kilometers ish a uh, little bit under um, I am actually at the Alberta BC border my hair's out of control it's hot out now I've got like a little walk through a valley here which is this is prime grizzly country so I've got to be careful and loud and obnoxious which I'm pretty good at um, making okay time a little bit slow coming up um, I'm always slow coming up hills um, I just got to keep my focus on whatever in particular I'm doing, but let me show you guys the view. So 
So here I am at Beatty Lake. Um, beautiful, calm, serene. So I'm in BC. So it's actually, uh, this is Height of the Rockies Provincial Park. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. There's nobody here, which I'm kind of surprised by. It's a campground with four sites. Um, I'm almost like slapping myself for not staying here overnight instead of Three Isle. Well, now I know for next year, because um, I'm going to do this one again next year, uh, to try to come to this site instead. It's non-reservable, so you have to like hope for the best when you get here. I don't know if there's actually tent pads. I'm going to take a look. Um, but there is sites. There's bear lockers. There's communal cooking area. Everything. So I'm actually going to stop here. It's only quarter after 10. Um, I'm making really, really good time. So I'm not sure. Um, I basically go around the lake uh, that side and then I'm gonna drop off into the valley um, I'll have to see what it's like because I do have to stop and have lunch somewhere um, but it's a little bit early yet uh, I didn't think I would get here this quick um, I thought that Beatty Lake was in the valley not in the uh, right at the just before the drop off um, so I'll have to see I'll spend a little bit of time here it's absolutely beautiful it's quiet I'm just gonna charge my phone a little bit to make sure it's at full power um, which is still at 80% and continue walking hopefully you guys enjoy my little wander through the woods and so far no signs of bears uh, did at Three Isle Lake uh, walking up to Three Isle I ran into bear scat fairly fresh bear scat twice but nothing uh, kind of came up on me so so far, lots of deer, uh, ground squirrels, chipmunks, um, but I'm sure I'll come across more bear stuff. Uh, somebody reviewed this path about a week ago and they said they ran into quite a bit of fresh bear stuff. And I'm like, I haven't. So I haven't really been looking either, but um, I usually keep my mind, my eyes open and my ears peeled. Um, and I do holler a lot. So if you're on this trail, you've probably heard me more than once. All right, let's get on with it. Normally I wouldn't stop this quick uh, after hiking, but sometimes what you see is completely unbelievable. And I'm just in awe of everything. It's just right over here over my shoulder. Like it's insane. It's a deep drop into that valley. It doesn't look like it by the video, but gorgeous. That's where I'm heading. Not sure if you can actually hear me. Um, I'm just in my first river crossing, which I knew was here, but we just got a lot of snow this last uh, week. So the river is actually like raging. So uh, it was tough to find a spot to cross, but there was a log over here that I could walk across. It was scary, it was slippery, um, and I did douse my foot a little bit in water, but my boots are waterproof, so for the most part they're fine. Um, just a little bit of water by the tongue. So I'm just sitting here chilling for a little bit um, before I start my climb up to Turbine Canyon. Uh, I'm strongly debating actually eating lunch because I'm really hungry. Um, but I'd have to break up my stove and all that stuff to get some water, so it's a tough debate. Uh, I've got a bit of a headache, so it's probably because I'm hungry. So I'll show you a little bit of the view here. There's the log I went across. I came down from the woods over there. So I made it through probably the diff diff most difficult part of the navigating. Uh, path kind of went all wonky, then the path didn't exist, and then uh, I just followed another path that was pretty like well laid out. And uh, followed that and then I had to cross the river again. Super easy this time. Um, so now I'm just kind of at the base of the first part of the vertical uh, that I'm going to basically be going straight up for, oh god, like 400 meters. Uh, if not more, four or five hundred, I think, uh, over a very short period of time. So I was taking a moment, I'm pretty exhausted right now. Uh, I got a headache, I stopped, 
grabbed some Advil, uh, chugged a bit more water, it's quite hot. Uh, I dunked my hat in the stream and put it on my head. Lasted for about 30 seconds, but it felt good. So, here I go, I'm just in the woods. I'm gonna wander my way out now and probably climb up a hot scree face. I'm sweating my butt off. Oh, well. So I decided um, I got about a four to 500 meter climb. I think it's almost 500 meter um, in a very short period of time. Like, I'm gonna say two kilometers, no, four kilometers. Uh, so I just decided my legs are tired. I went against my best judgment and decided not to eat lunch um, when I had the opportunity. And uh, yeah, I've had trail mix and I have candy and stuff to kind of help keep pushing me, but it's not sustaining enough. So that's the problem with candy and that's why I generally don't eat it unless I need a quick boost um, is because it's used up as soon as it hits your muscles. So that's kind of how I feel right now. So I found a semi-shaded spot here took the opportunity to take my pack off, charge my phone a bit, um, and switch into a tank top because the heat is probably 85 to 90 percent of what is kind of gassing me out. Um, I think I have to ration my water from here in. Um, once I get up to uh, Maud, Maud Lake, uh, I'm pretty easy going from there. Um, and I have, I think it's 1.6, no, it's three kilometers uh, from there to the campground, uh, but it's pretty flat. So um, that's what I'm kind of betting on. Uh, obviously I've had some uh, bad judgment uh, on this trip and things that I know for next time. Um, it's still really, really hot. It's about 3.20 in the afternoon. I'm hoping to be up there by six. I should be able to do it um, and then basically it's gonna be like a pitch my tent eat my food and more than likely crash harder than I've ever crashed before um, I'll probably take an Advil before I go to bed I just took one not that long ago my headaches actually settling out but I've given myself now till 3 30 uh, I forced myself to take a half an hour um, just because like I said my legs like jello uh, when Sean and I did that 20 kilometer hike a little while back, um, same thing, by about kilometer 20, I was really dragging because we didn't stop and eat lunch. Um, and my legs just feel like lead. And the fact that I have to climb straight up a hill now for like two kilometer, four kilometer, something like that, I'm just dreading that idea. It's nice, it's hot enough, the bugs actually aren't too bad because you see me swinging away a wasp. But yeah it's been a great hike no wildlife uh, i've heard a couple of grunts and stuff in the woods when i've gone past uh it sounds to me more like deer uh more than anything I've seen deer tracks no bear scat nothing i'll uh, actually say that and a bear is going to peek his head out here um so all in all it's been a pretty great adventure and i'm a little frustrated right now just i'm more frustrated at myself uh but i'm almost there and I'm pretty stoked and excited to actually get home and see Sean and all that kind of stuff and tell him all about it. He probably won't want to hear about it, but I'll tell him anyhow. Um, but all in all, pack has felt good. Uh, I would say it's a solid um, close to 40 pounds uh, with my water bladder with two liters of water in it. Um, and it's, it doesn't feel too bad till I have it on for a few kilometers, uh, probably about four or five kilometers, and then it makes my lower back hurt. But it's not really my lower back, it's like my upper glute, because uh, I think I'm actually like pushing my pack up with a bit of a posterior pelvic tilt. Um, so that's a bit of an issue there. Uh, my back's been holding out. Um, I put a heat pack on it all night last night. And, but the thing about these backpacks is they're engineered to be super comfortable. Um, and I don't think my back's taken a lot of the weight, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel more uh, of my back when I'm like bending and stuff. That's when I can feel it. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna chill here for another five or six minutes, go to bathroom really quick and just get back on my way. Can't sit here forever.
almost beautiful. If I wasn't going to run out of daylight in five hours, I would sit here forever. But <laughs> sun goes down about five to nine. So I got to be up there far before that. All right. I'll talk to you guys when I hit the top. I did it. I'm back in Alberta. I love it here. I'm trying really hard not to cry right now because that was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I can hardly hold my camera up. I'm so exhausted. But I'm home. I'll show you the view. Ooh, that's a big one. And then this here is Maud Lake. Yeah. Home. So after that really long hike, I finally got to the campground. It's a struggle to find a site. There was like none available, but I found one. Um, it's all set up. I just set up my tent just so I can't even, like, if I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash, like, soon. Um, bugs are a little atrocious. I didn't want to be this close to running water. Uh, the reason you don't want to be close to running water when you're camping, uh, especially in a tent, is that you can't hear the animals. Uh, so if there's a bear or even a moose or anything like that near your tent, you can't hear them when you've got running water right behind you. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Um, but I'm all set up. All my stuff is in there and ready to go. And now I'm just going to, I think I'm gonna make some food, try to eat. I'm not overly hungry. Um, there's a million people here, so I don't wanna go sit in a cook area, so let me just go sit down by the river. There's a big waterfall, it's called Turbine Canyon for a reason. I'll do some video later, uh, if I feel up to. So I said I would show you guys why it's called Turbine Canyon. do a side hike but my Achilles on my left side is extremely sore I must have um, it's a little bit swollen too I must have um, tweaked it on one of my uphill slides because uh, I climbed a lot of scree and it kind of happened after one part on the scree so I think I'll just avoid anything uphill for now because it just seems to tax that foot um, I was just going to climb up to the ski camp is all I was going to do, but I will not today. Um, not a bad hike here, so um, I'm just going to enjoy the views for a bit, have a coffee, and get my breakfast in me, and clean up my camp, and then start thinking about heading out. It'll probably take me a few hours to get out. Um, it's quite the downhill slog uh, off Turbine to Forks Campground, so let's get the day started. Well, I'm out, just leaving the campground now, packed all up. Um, my Achilles is super, super, super sore. Um, so 
I'm just going to take it slow. It's downhill most of the way. It doesn't seem to hurt downhill. It just hurts going uphill. Um, but yeah, I'm all packed up. I got extra water this time. Uh, it's already a school trip and it's only 10 a.m. So I'm just heading out to the campsite now with my goal to be down at my car by 3, uh, if I can, uh, between 3 and 4. Uh, I told Sean I would be back by about 3.30, uh, but I still can't make contact with him. Um, I'll see if I can get some reception at Bolton Creek Campground. Um, but other than that, here starts the hike, and it's a long slog down. Wish me luck. So I've hit this big meadow here. <laughs> I'm almost done it, but I thought I'd stop and kind of show you what my days have been like. I haven't really been videoing much of the stroll because it's been hard, um, but this walk is a lot nicer. So I'm just heading through the meadow right now, and it's basically my last flat till I start going straight down. So, oh, hot, uh, lots of bugs. I, just, I got attacked by a deer fly. I lost my mind, it was so painful, but hey. So I'm gonna keep slogging down. I've gone about three kilometers, uh, about 12 more to go. So I've basically been running down this mountain. <laughs> just because it's so straight down but it's not too straight down that it's hard to get your footing on opens up to views like this get my big noggin out of the way but it's a scorcher keep saying I should take my shirt off but I haven't yet say lovey keep going down Well, I made it back to my car, as you can tell. I'd have to say, it was a tough trudge up the hill to my car. I'd have to say, all in all, that was the most fantastic trip ever. It was full of a lot of ups and downs, um, a lot of frustration. But I had to pull deep from within to get back here. Two points in this trip that... I struggled was the Headwell Turbine Canyon felt like it went forever so it went forever and it was straight up on a lot of rock without a lot of paths so we had to root find and I was so frustrated because I was so tired and I made like I said earlier the biggest error of not eating lunch when I should have and then the second one um, it was brought on more by, I pulled my Achilles at one point, uh, slipping on a rock yesterday. And then it hit a point today that I couldn't even, I was having a hard time actually putting weight on that foot. Um, thankfully going downhill, it wasn't as bad. I could maintain quite a bit of, uh, flexion in that foot. Uh, but by the time I was getting onto the trail at Upper Kananaskis Lakes, I struggled. Um, it was quite painful. I had to basically use my poles like crutches to keep all the weight off the foot. I could keep some of the weight on it, but not all of it. Um, the, other, the only other thing that really kind of deterred it was the heat. Uh, I have no idea what the temperature is today. I'll have to turn on my car and look. Um, but I'm going to guess it's between 25 and 30 degrees, if not more. And... Most of the hike today, thankfully, was in the woods minus one really exposed area coming off turbine. Um, that was quite hot. And then another really exposed area here at Upper Kananaskis Lakes. Just as you're kind of coming into the lake, it's really exposed and it's a lot of rock. So the, the sun just reflects up the rock right back up on you. And it's hard to even breathe. It's so hot. Um... So that kind of, think of like having your car door shut on a 30 degree day and when you get in the car how hot it is. That's what it feels like in that rocky section. Um, but then like one guy said to me, he's like, you're almost there. He's like, you're almost there. You're like a half a kilometer away and like I was dragging my ass. But I had a goal to get there by 3. Um, well, 3.30 was my goal actually and it is 12 minutes after 3 right now. So I've already been back. I've taken one of my shoes off. Um, I'm going to get going here my stuff's all packed up and I'm just gonna get I'm gonna try stopping at Bolton Key Creek Campground see if I can get cell phone reception um so I can text Sean uh because I told him that I 
I would told him I'd be back by five, which isn't a lie. I should be back home by then, but uh, see if I can get some cell phone reception and text him from there. But other than that, I'm sure I will have some closing thoughts once I get home and I talk to Sean about it. But yeah, all in all, what a fantastic few days.